Welcome back, guys. I uh, had a couple audio issues over the last couple days. Hopefully, I got them sorted out. Um, turns out, holding the mic closer to you uh, makes it pick up the sound better. it on my last um, recording. This, 
this was the very first video game that I ever beat. fun fact about me. Alright. Who ate the squid followed me. Thank you, who ate the squid. streamer starting later this month writing sprints, E and 16-bit retro games, JRPGs, Contra, F-Zero, Metroid, etc. Pretty cool. Man of After My Own Heart. So I got two viewers. Am I one of the viewers? Because I have this up on my phone. If that's the case, then uh, thank you to the other viewer. Your support is most appreciated. Alright, let's do this. No Contra code, going in raw dog. No Contra. PS4 and a Switch that I play on, and, and most of the games that I play are like either retro or retro like type games, like uh, newer games, like new games, but like the graphics, I'll play it up during the 
switch shop. Um, glad I didn't tag I don't want to know. I guess price has something to do with it, but I just, I'm really, I haven't seen or found it. the fuck, I haven't seen or found games in recent games at least that
down there. I very well might not get through Contra without the Contra code. This is kind of depressing. Not that I um, think to myself some kind of Contra pro, but again, it's, it's Contra. It's perfect, but it's not supposed to be this challenge. I made the mistake of buying the, uh, the recent Contra, like, I, I was hoping, 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 like, hoping beyond hope that it was gonna be good, and it is not. I'm not really averse to an old school, or I should say a traditionally, uh, 2D game going through you, like, Contra Legacy of War on Sega Saturn. Um, I think it came out on PS1 as well, but I used to have it on Sega Saturn. And people used to trash that game. I, I really like it. I mean, to this day, I still like it. But, um, the newest Contra, um, I got it on PS4. And it is. I don't know. I don't know. It's just the game mechanics and the camera. It's just so wonky. Again, it's, it's not the fact that it's a good thing. I can care about it. If it's done well, I don't care. Like, I prefer 2D, of course. Like, uh, 2D has a of shadow I didn't hate it but it really it, like it's an example of like I don't mind a traditionally 2D game going into 3D because like it was, it was pretty good I don't think it should have been called Castlevania like, I, I know that uh, I'm pretty sure that it was repurposed at some point like uh, apparently in the, the, the development Slap Castlevania on there afterwards. It's not a bad game, but it's kind of like I don't know. Like, are like they trying to do like some like a kind of Lord of the Rings motif with Castlevania? It just for me it just didn't work, and it was like way too close of a um, God of War. It was, yeah, it's a, it was a rip off. They're trying to move out of war. I never finished World of Shadow, but... Every once in a while, like, I'll start it up and, uh, This week where I was at. Watch a YouTube video every time you take down one of the type of things. I, I feel like they just kind of took everything that was inherently good about Castlevania and just flushed them into a. Like it's supposed to be more intuitive than that. And that's one thing I, I really. What's 
stuff like Contra, for example, obviously, or Castlevania, like, you can just pick up the controller, you don't need a backstory. Games. Obviously, there's a lot of nostalgia involved. Um, but nostalgia, I guess, you kind of play on your mind a bit. But I think that I really love this game or get on other things. I used to play it when I was a kid. When you're that young, everything is cool. Talking too much. I, I got killed. Alrighty. I think that's it for Contra. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna have to finish this game at some point, so I guess I'll 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 title this video Contra 2. Watch me suck at Contra Part 2.